everybody, Brian Chase here. Um, I'm up in Greenville, South Carolina, overseeing a pre-buy inspection on another airplane, and the buyer's agent um, has a Cessna 400 for sale that uh, he offered to go take us up for a little bit of a test flight. So really looking forward to doing that, and uh, hope to show you some great footage. Here. So this is a 2007 model Cessna 400, uh, originally built by Columbia Aircraft until they were bought out by Cessna, and um, it's, they just started calling it a, a Cessna 400, later became the uh, Cessna TTX, um, so there's been a few different iterations of this thing, and, and um, this 400 is uh, uh, equipped with a G1000. Um, obviously it's a kind of the latest and greatest <clears throat> um, with a GTX 345R transponder ADS-B in and out GFC 700 fully integrated autopilot uh, with reversionary display mode so you can swap to the other screen um, if you had somebody sit in the right seat that you wanted to do some flying with or in the case of a failure as it's originally intended to do um, it's got an IO a twin turbocharged I0550, I forget the dash number, uh, but it's a really, really powerful engine, very fast aircraft, capable of cruising at 235 knots of a 25,000 feet. That's it's just incredible. That's unmatched by any other single piston aircraft, definitely that I'm aware of production level um, kind of aircraft. So uh, really excited to go for this flight. I've really changed my mind. This, this flight really made me change my mind on, on the Cessna Columbia 400. I've had a couple of friends come to me wanting to buy them and I actually steered them away from it over the years because I didn't know that much about it. And this was a fantastic opportunity. So special thanks to uh, Jason Sherbert, Greenville Aviation. Check out this airplane for sale. Uh, it's on controller. I'll try to do a, a, a link in the description. Just a quick note here, um, the going doors are a really nice feature. They're up out of the wind, uh, so they don't, they don't catch the wind and they're, you're not gonna get hit with the door and it's not gonna go bending off the, uh, the hinges or anything. Uh, but it was a little challenging to get into the Cessna 400. They uh, uh, just kind of had to drag my, my left foot in there. So it's easy access, but kind of once you're down, I think, I think I got into it wrong. And once you learn how to do that, um, it'll probably be a lot easier. All right. Moving. Oh, yeah, get the brake. Pause. System ah. test. It's okay. Totally not System one. test. Okay. I hit the door sill. And over there. Check the speed brakes while we're waiting on that deck. Uh, up. Yep. Trick, trick. All right. There we go. Mine's up. Right. Mine's up. All right. Down. The door seals button. This is. It is trick place these door seals. Okay. Test. Okay. All right, man. All right, you got the brakes. The brakes. All right, I do the radios, and uh, you can see we only got a little bit of fuel. Okay. We're on the right tank, so I mean we should have enough to go buzz around. And uh, Greenwood Ground, Columbia six seven eight Yankee Yankee East Ramp, tanks for westbound BFR departure. That's throttle all the way out. 678 Yankee, Yankee, Green Ground, Runway 19, Taxi via Bravo 4 and Bravo, up to 3032. Uh, winds are out of the west right now at 8 knots. You like Runway uh, 19 or 28? Yeah, uh, 19 is fine. And we'll do Bravo 4, Bravo 19, uh, Yankee. All right. So for takeoff, we'll do takeoff flaps. That's not a whole lot of taxi. I might have to let it warm up a little bit when we get there. You twist this thing, right? You can twist it or you can you can hold the button in and push it in. But you got to do the button if you're going to push it. Right, yeah. Otherwise, you got to twist it. We're going to 190, say? Yeah, just go up here and hang it right. So the twist button knob throttle is new to me. It was like a really big deal and hard for me to wrap my brain around. But now that I have, I actually really, really like it. It's, it's really easy to control with fine adjustments rather than just really yanking and, and jockeying on the, on the throttle. I like that. That twist, that's the first time I've ever seen that where it's twist only. 
Yeah, well, I mean, it's, you can you can do it with a button, you can kind of. I mean, rather than, you know, like a real jockeying thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Here. Yeah, there's a whole short line right there. All right, what are we doing for a run-up? All right, for run-up, just run the RPMs up to 17. Yeah, check your mags. Got to get it exact. <laughs> Left mag. That's good. To both. Mag was both. All right. All right. Let's cycle the prop. Right alternator out. Oh. Did I lose the right alternator? It looked like. Right alternator yeah, out. She's working. Back on. All right. Wait, where are we at as far as temps go? Greenville Tower, it says on 172 Bravo Kilo. I want to get all these in the green. Let's let it idle a little bit. Let it warm up. Right here? Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's set the avionics up. Um, the number 172 Bravo Kilo Greenville Tower Runway. We're about 1,000 feet above. The wind's 250 at 9 best to 1-4. Altimeter 3032. It's right super downwind. loud in my ear right now. What'd you say? Right downwind from runway 19 or 2 Bravo Kilo. Um, set the altimeter for 1,000 feet. And we'll just head out to the west. Cool. You want to put GYH here? Um, you mean GMU? Or wherever we are, GMU, yeah. Yeah, we can when we come back. Okay. It's not a big deal. All right. Where, you want these to get up into the 300 range? Yeah, I just want them to get... Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, they're good. They're supposed to be white. <laughs> they start out yellow. My bad. Okay. So we're good, yeah. Uh, all right. Okay, um... Yeah, let's go. I don't know. And Tower 678 Yankee Yankee is ready for takeoff. Runway 100. November 678 Yankee Yankee, you're in with Tower Stimma. November 678 Yankee Yankee, runway 100, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 100 Yankee. Alright, let's rock and roll. Alright, trims are good. Everything's good. Takeoff flaps set. Speed brakes are down. Let's rock and roll. Alright. Responder to give us a coder. Um you got here it. here you can just squawk twelve hundred. We're, we're not, yeah. Hit transponder and just hit VFR. Take it. Clear on the right. So when you get it lined up, just kinda of bring the power about halfway up, nice and smooth. Right. Everything looks good, go full power. And then just haul ass down the runway. All right, so we're going about half throttle here. Uh-huh. All right. Looks good. Full throttle. All the way up. Holy moly, this thing's got a lot of power. All right, just leave everything firewall there, and right. we'll get flaps up. It's pitch, coming pitch up. for about 110. Man, it looks good. All right, hanging right. We gotta stay below uh, 3,000 for this uh, shelf that's above us. Okay. Right there. Oh, gotcha. Once you get past that, we're good. You know, we're about out of gas already. That will get a lift tank.
right, let's just level off at 2,500. This is your trim right here. It's, all it's got is electric trim. We can, we can head back whenever you want with the fuel. Oh, we're good right now. The uh, manifold good? i pull that yeah. back. Nice, good. Speed up. Almost clear. We didn't have a lot of fuel on board, but it was once we got the engine pulled back, I mean, that thing just sips fuel, so it wasn't a big deal. Are you going up now? Found a hole, I guess. Go up. Dang, try to get through that hole right there. <laughs> There was no way I was going to make that hole, but uh, I pointed there for a minute. You gave it the old college try, but it's just not going to happen. The fuel is a little closer to empty than I'd like to see. <laughs> it's pretty low, isn't it? We got about, uh, we got about uh, 15, 20 gallons. Nah, we're not going to make that hole. Okay. They just level up here. Yeah. Let us fly underneath there. Go fly around a little bit. Just don't go too far. <laughs> oh, we'll go. Why don't we? We're gonna go over that way. Can we go over to the mountain? Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, so I gotta pull this back, right? Uh, yeah. Just pull it back to about uh, 28. Jason had me set this thing at the climb power setting for so long, and it was the manifold was showing up into the into the red arc. But but uh, apparently that's normal. I just uh, I didn't like seeing it pop up on there. What about RPM? Uh. RPMs about 24 or 5 for that setting. And the main one would be the fuel. The tower says the 172 Bravo Kilo has cleared the runway. 172 Bravo Kilo, Roger. Contact ground. Alright, just kind of roll it out right there. Contact ground, 2 Bravo Kilo. This plane is cooking. We're pushing through 170 knots indicator right there and quickly coming up to the, uh, the bottom of the yellow arc. We're cooking. Look at that, 180 knots. Oh, no. There we go, there. 16 gallons. Look at our range. Pretty good Asheville. I'm not running out of gas. Wow. It does really good once you, once you get up and yeah. level out and so. stuff. Oh, we got traffic dead ahead. Somewhere over there. At negative 14, they'd be on the ground there. Greenville Tower, experimental 526 Yankee Zulu, ready for takeoff 19. November 526 Yankee Zulu, Greenville Tower, runway 19, Clifford, right downwind departure. What's up? Are you trying to look for your camera? Yankee Zulu, yeah. ready for takeoff right downwind departure. <laughs> Is it here, right? Is that the state park? Yeah, that's uh, I'm not sure where the park like camping place is, but that's uh, it's Ferris Mountain. We're we'll on the other side of it. I guess why don't we just swing around back on the other side and we'll down back. We could. Hey, Greenville Tower, uh, Columbia 678 Yankee Yankee. We're just gonna swing around the back side of Ferris Mountain. And then come back in for a landing. November 678, Yankee Yankee, report final approach inbound. Report, report final approach inbound, uh, Yankee Yankee. All right, we're good to go. Cool. It's a cool plane, isn't it? I love this plane. <laughs> it's looking this awesome. Is, yeah. And the autopilot, I mean, just everything about it is freaking phenomenal. And they're a good value right now compared to Cirrus's. Oh, yeah. I've heard they're much better built, too. Well, they're built to uh, utility category. Right, yeah. Now, you can barrel roll it if you want to, you know? Yeah, now Sears is going to rip a wing off. Got 115, that's pretty good. Once you're below 126, put your first notch in. What, the, the uh, speed brakes down? No, just, nah, you can leave them up. They're cool. Land with them up? I do, yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Hey, it looks cool. I don't really think it does anything. You gotta think, the slower you're flying, the, the least of, the, they're not effective at all, you know? Right, yeah. They're only, they're only doing anything when you're going really fast.
We're looking for what kind of speed right now? 0478, contact your departure. Uh, about, about 110, something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, you can get full flaps. Now you kind of be around, you know, about 100 over the fence, 100 over the road, whatever, you know. Okay. I would just do whatever feels good. You know what I mean? Heard so much from both sides. Um, at Sticks, the band on Twitter, they did. Good. Adeline, sit down, baby. <laughs> She's smiling her ass off. She. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, go power idle. They just kind of like ease her down, you know what I mean? Nice and easy. There you go. We got plenty of room. Hold it off. There you go. Just like that. Let her come down. There you go. Perfect. Just hold the egg back. Just kind of let her slow down. Columbia 678 Yankee Yankee exit runway contact ground. Exit runway over to ground. Yankee Yankee. Kind of bad. Oh. One thing's bad about these planes—they got little bitty brake pads. Yeah, I'm noticing. You know I, mean? they're like, I, I don't feel like it's—it's yeah. it's not doing much. Nah, they don't. Even when they're brand new, they—they kind of suck. And ground uh, six seven eight Yankee Yankee is Bravo one to the east end. Let me six seven eight Yankee Yankee ground via Bravo cross runway one zero two eight to right of Golf, taxi in the east ramp. Cross into eight right of Golf to the east ramp, hey Yankee. Good job, bud. Killed That's fun, man. Appreciate it. Hell yeah, anytime, brother. All right. Now, what you want to do is you want to kind of let it wind down a little bit because there's the turbo spins so fast that if you just come up and cut the power off, it cuts the oil off to the to the turbos. Okay. And they'll just blow bearings out of the pipes. That's not good. Let's not do that. Yeah, so just kind of. All right. Some people say sit for two minutes. Yep. I think the book says four minutes from the time that uh, you land. Unless you rev it back up for some reason. Right. We probably got about a minute. Thanks for watching that video. I really enjoyed putting that together. Again, special thanks to uh, Jason Sherbert and Bill Aviation for uh, that, that opportunity. Hit the door sale. Um, please like and share, subscribe, turn on alerts right, uh, to be avionics. alerted to more content just like this as we put it out. Uh, really enjoyed being able to do this and uh, to sh give a little more insight into the general aviation world for those of you that may not be. Uh, uh, already involved in it. For more information on us, please visit www.chaseaviation.com and uh, looking forward to seeing you again on here soon.